And then I was like, did I make the biggest mistake of my life? Hey, while you're here, have you watched the series where I documented why I had a hysterectomy and I take you all the way through to tips and tricks on how to recover quickly? Y'all like that cliffhanger, didn't y'all? I'm gonna get right into it. Let's talk about the S-E-X. We're gonna try to hey. use cold words because you two get the tripping. I'm gonna talk about the first time that we did it after getting cleared to have uh -huh. hey. Awkward as hell. I was nervous. He was nervous. It, it was like, like we were consummating all over again. You would be surprised of how everything just within five weeks. Yeah, right, let's, yeah. let's just back the train up a little bit. From the fella standpoint, when y'all come and say that y'all get ready to have this, and our main concern is having to wait for the six weeks, what it's gonna be like? Is anything gonna change? So that was my main two concern, because I know she was gonna be all right, but it's like, what what this sex gonna be like afterwards? And like she said, it was awkward when we went back in two, and it was really hard to go down through the woods when we first did it. Yeah, because the sprinkler system wasn't quite that. It was water in the grass, but it, it was a flood. Yeah, it was just enough to get part of the way in the woods. <laughs> and so as we continue to progress, so the rest of your day going nerves, fellas. As of today, it is back. The sprinkler system is at. I'm not gonna say a hundred percent. It's back to a thousand. Sex was the bomb before. <laughs> oh, I guess what are you about to say? Now it's the going to a whole nother level, but it's different. It is different. It's different, but better. I don't know what Dr. <laughs> did, but um, I'm so glad that whatever he did, he did. Because at first I was concerned because after the first few times, I was like, you know what? I don't know about this, but now I'm good. This entire time, everything has been a breeze. I have never regretted having the surgery until we started having intercourse again. And then I was like, did I make the biggest mistake of my life? Because something is off. And it took about two to three times yeah. to finally get to a point. And to I get think a semi-breakthrough. Yeah, and I think yeah. it was mental. A lot mm -hmm. of it was mental because you don't know what's happening down there. And yeah. to heal the, hear the details, of the video and I'll link it below where he was saying you know there's stitches up there and you can feel some things you know you got all that going through your mind and like mm -hmm. is anything gonna poke him is he gonna go to eh, and then do something to hurt me so the mm -hmm. whole time you're like it, it was a lot it was a lot but I will tell you from a sensation standpoint and a Rajanish zone standpoint they're different yeah like the zones that I used to have before they are no more, but there are new zones. Mm -hmm. But what I will say about the new zones, this is the only example that I think that I can communicate with you and you'll know what I'm speaking of. For instance, if I would take a vibrator and I would just put fresh batteries in it, you'll know that it is powerful. You put it on your hand and it's like, mm. you know it's at full blast, but what you're feeling is, do I need to change the batteries? Cause this is not as powerful as it used to be. That's where I'm at now, but I can honestly say each and every time the sensation gets better mm -hmm. and better and better. And the only the only rationale is that maybe it's because your nerves are starting to come back yeah. together and fire off and everything is healing. <laughs> because you still you still have to realize that although yeah. I'm cleared, there is still a healing still process. Months of, months of healing. Healing. Yeah. Oh yeah. At first I was like, oh my God. That spot right there that usually like boom that that don't do it no more so now we're learning mm -hmm. how to navigate and find new techniques which is not a bad thing yeah but yeah. you know you know your thing where you know if you want to hurry up and get there you know you do that one thing and it's like yeah boom. that don't work no more it does not work anymore so when i say it's different it is definitely different so I want anyone that's getting ready to go through this to know that that is a possibility. Mm -hmm. It was a possibility that the the grass wasn't going <clears> to <throat> be watered the same at all. A lot of people say they theirs does not return. Yeah, mine is on full. Yeah, grass. it's just like yeah, it was. Uh, I thought the last time we did it was I was like yeah we back, but yeah, especially like yesterday I was like whoa, bruh. 
You don't have nothing to worry about, man. It's gonna be better. You know how before you can't wait to go back down through the woods? Yeah, I'm gonna be running down through the woods now. Every chance I get. Bro, you know like those seven days during the month when they cycle and you just can't run down through the woods? But now, that don't happen. I can run down through the woods a freaking 30 days out the month, man. You know, Why are you sitting close to the camera like that? Because I want them to see that you ain't got nothing to worry about. And I noticed on YouTube, none of the fellas gave a perspective after their wives or girlfriends or whoever got the hysterectomy, how sex was for them. For me, bruh, before I was concerned, but as of the 10th of May, awesome, man. And I will tell you, another concern of mine was I also had my cervix removed as well. Mm -hmm. You have to really research the female anatomy, not getting into all of that, but me and my doctor spoke about it and he was like, Lynette, a lot of people keep their cervix because they are mentally attached to having a cervix. It does you no good when you have a hysterectomy to keep the cervix. Matter of fact, it puts you at a greater health risk because that's where cervical cancer breeds. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and take it out. It's that big. When we went to do it, you know, there are certain parts where you hit it and you be like, you, mm, you hit this, huh? And I was like, sis is gone. Am I still going to feel something back there? Or am I going to be longer back there like a bottomless pit? No. 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 It's the exact same. You have the exact same sensations, the same feelings. But like I said, your zones, my zones change. And the intensity of those zones are not back at 100% right now. Yeah. But they are getting way more intense like yeah. first time I was like oh god Houston we have a problem yeah but now it's like oh okay 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 there's a light at the end of this tunnel yeah where she is now I'm like with, eight weeks. with the nerves and stuff yeah you're eight weeks as the nerves continue to heal to come back it has returned for me the way that it was and even better for me it's still a work in progress yeah so still work yeah so but. yeah for him he's like <laughs> Oh, darn. Yeah, man. This is like, yeah, man. So. Man, that sprinkler system will turn way up. Can you stop talking? Man. Please stop talking. All right. This concludes my docu-series on my hysterectomy. I want to thank each and every one of you all that sat here and took the time to go through this journey with me, to send me your personal testimonies. A lot of you all have put things in the comments. And I do not take it for granted that you would share that kind of information with me. Please know that we are in this together. And whenever you have a question, I am only a comment away, an email away, a DM away. And until next time, see you in the next vlog. Bye.